Springtime means asparagus is in season right now. It's one of the earliest and tastiest veggies of the year. Today we have a recipe you could serve at any meal of the day. Ken Grog is a foodie expert at Lunds and Byerly's. We are making a cheesy asparagus tart. Good morning, Ken. Good morning, Dave. How are you today? I'm, I'm wonderful. We already, well, let's, let's just state the obvious that we already have it made up, so I can't uh, screw this one up, but let's start and talk about this. First of all, I had no idea that asparagus was like the first vegetable to come in season uh, of the year. Yeah, it's really great, and, and it, it really represents spring. It, it means spring for us, uh, certainly at Lunds and Byerly's, and um, it's, it's such a versatile vegetable. It's, and, and the usage in this mm -hmm. tart is fantastic because it can be a, um, it, it can be the base of something. It can stand alone as a, as a dish to, to accompany something else. So as uh, springtime brunches are, are coming up, uh, this is a perfect thing to, to make. It, it, is, it smells so, delicious, too. I, I, I love asparagus, and you're right. You can really use it in any time of the day that you want. Uh, so how do we assemble and put this together? Well, I'm going to show you something here because um, the whole thing takes about 40 minutes to make. Mm -hmm. So we're going to, we've got some, um, some opportunities to move forward quickly. Um, the first thing I'm going to do is take a sheet of puff pastry, and we're going to score the outer edge about an inch inside, just like, just like so. Okay. And then that's going to go right into a 400 degree oven for 15 minutes. Um, and we can see what that's going to look like. Can I ask you while you're pulling that out what the scoring is for? Is that just to kind of kind of get puff up a little bit more? It's it's good that you asked that question because that's exactly what we're going to do. We we um, we scored this here. And so now we'll just kind of push this down. The outer crust mm -hmm. will be um, will be what was on the other side of the incision there. All right. And then what kind and of so, cheese are you using for this? <clears throat> Gruyere. Gruyere oh, is oh, such Gruyere a is great, yeah, it is the best. It's my favorite cooking cheese and yeah. uh, it, it just melts so nicely and it adds so much so much flavor to so many things. So, and I, I would imagine um, there's substitute options. Are there other kinds of cheeses? Maybe that don't melt as, as nicely as Gruyere does, but are there other ones you can use instead? Oh, oh yeah. And, yeah, and that's what I love about these this this recipe. Uh, it it's so versatile. You can use a lot of different cheeses. You could use goat cheese. You could use um, uh, any kind of uh, yeah. cheddar or Colby or anything like that. And then are you so you now, snap the ends right? You got to snap the ends on those before you put them on. You know, we, we do that, um, and I already did that. So. <laughs> But uh, that that's that is the way that you like to uh, to test for uh, where the the woodiness of the asparagus starts or whatever. And so, yeah, it would break right about Perfect. there. And and then you can uh, line up the rest of them and cut them like that. And look at that. It fits right in that tart as if somebody had done that. Okay. And that it works so, out now, perfectly. Uh, yes, there's no cutting in a bowl. Okay. And now we have uh -huh. our finished product here. Yes. On set and I'm going to dress this up. So I see a lot of different options for toppings. That's right. And and again, I'll I'll, I'll get right with you, Dave. It's, Through the magic of we'll television. Do the same thing. And so, uh, in this situation, I think I like to I like to use this as a as a foundation. Uh, for it, it could be mm -hmm. uh, even a, a, a salad, just whatever kind of toppings, and and that's the thing. There's there's no there's no limit to what you want to put on it. Think of it as a pizza. Think mm -hmm. of it as um, just an hors d'oeuvre or this a looks amazing. item. Make it beautiful. <clears throat> We're gonna put a little bit of everything on here. Oh, that's, that's what I think. Right? That's you prosciutto, right? That's prosciutto. Yeah. Ooh, I like yeah. that. Do you want lettuce? Yeah. Ken, thank you so much. This, wow. looks, this looks delicious. What a great, great Awesome, dish. awesome. And here you go, because it, it would be maybe a brunch. Yeah. Put a nice poached egg on there, too. Of course. Oh. There you go. Thing. And there you have it. Ken, thank you so much. We have the recipe and a link to Lunds and Byerly's on care11.com. You can text the word recipes to 763-797-7215 to get a link to the recipes page.